Hello, guys. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, guys. Welcome to another class here at English Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona at your services. How are you today? Fine. Good. Yeah. Okay. All good? Yeah. Good. All good? All right. Perfect. Now, um, let me ask you something. Do you have any question about the previous class? About simple, simple and complex indirect questions? Sorry, I couldn't attend the last class. Oh, sorry. But I will, I will study the, the platform. Okay, perfect. Guys, so we can hear Lourdes super quick. Can anybody give me an example of an of a direct question, please. Anybody? Just one person has volunteered. Example of direct question. Uh, direct question is, where is the supermarket? Very good, where is the supermarket? That's a direct question. And what would it be a an indirect question for where is the supermarket? Hmm. I thought that it was very clear, guys. If it was clear, you should be able to answer quickly. Okay. So, based on the fact that I'm not getting any response, let me go ahead and give you this. So I'm gonna write it in the chat. In the chat, where is the supermarket? That this will be a direct question, right? Now, indirect question: Could you tell me where the supermarket is? Could you tell me where the supermarket is? That would be a direct question. I was wondering where the supermarket is. No question mark because this is not really a question. Any other one guys that you remember? Se acuerdan de alguna otra guys? I like to know. There you go. I like to know. Where the, supermarket where the supermarket is is fantastic and as well we do not include the uh, the question mark because it's not really a question due to the first thing i'd like to know me gustaría saber okay so Lourdes, do you have a better idea what an indirect question is yes i think i i i am um, and could you say only where the supermarket is? No. You, you, you have to use that kind of, uh, I was wondering, or could you yeah. tell me? Uh -huh. Exactly, because if you say where the supermarket is, you are using a direct question incorrectly. The verb is not supposed to be at the end. You're supposed to say where is, so you can keep the structure. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. When you uh -huh, when you use where or who or exactly any wh question. Oh. So, I really hope that there's no doubt on these type of uh, questions, guys. So those are these are very 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 useful. Okay. So, are you ready for you to start with the, with the class? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. So let me go ahead and share what I have right here. Please go ahead and read it. Lesson objective. Repeat with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing. Oh, give me just a second. There it is. I had the other class already loaded, so give me just a second here. <clears throat> In this lesson, participants will learn vocabulary to talk about negative feelings. Say it with me, please. 
In this In lesson, partners will learn vocabulary to talk about negative feelings. Very good. I noticed uh, the difficulties with this one. Say it with me. Participants. Participants. That'll be correct. So, guys, today we'll have a vocabulary in order for you to express negative feelings. All right? Now, mm -hmm. let's get it done here. Go ahead and mute your microphones so we can hear the audio. Hello, pay attention to the following vocabulary. It will help you express negative feelings. Annoyed, baffled, confused, demoralized, depressed, discouraged, enraged, Frustrated, humiliated, infuriated, insulted, irritated, mystified, saddened, stunned. Complete the following sentences with your own information. Number one, I always get discouraged when. Number two, I. Insulted. Irritated. We don't listen to each other. Thank you very much. I was muted. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So, what is the meaning of uh, annoyed? Mm. Say it with me first so we can uh, practice our pronunciation. Annoyed. 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 Mm -hmm. With the D at the end, annoyed. 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 What is the meaning of annoyed? Mm. Like disappointed. Mm -hmm. Like annoyed is like irritated. Mm -hmm. right? Angry. Angry, desperate. We have uh, several of those right here. Exactly. Baffled. Well, this is what we're going to do, guys, so, so I can explain it to you. Number one. We're going to practice the pronunciation. Number two, we're going to discuss the meaning. And number three, you're going to give me an example. So start thinking of examples with all of these words because we're going to do it one by one. All right? Um, so give me an example with annoyed, please. Mm-hmm. The noise of the honk in the, in the traffic is very annoying. Oh, in that case, it's going to be, is very annoying. Ah. Mm -hmm. So how can I say? Um, oh, I feel annoyed mm -hmm. with the noise in the traffic. There you go. I feel annoyed with the noise of traffic. Very good. Perfect. Next one. Baffled. 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 Mm -hmm. What is it called? Baffled. Baffled. Baffle. Yeah, let's practice the ending sound of this one. Baffled. 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 With D. Baffled. 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 Mm -hmm. Who can tell me what, what, what the meaning is? No one? Um, no, I don't know. It's like confused. So we're going to kill two oh. birds with one stone. Have you heard that idiom? To kill two birds, one stone? No, I don't understand. Sorry, I, I can hear pretty well. Okay, so baffled is like confused. Pretty much it's a synonym of confused. Confused. Mm. Okay. And? Oh, now I see. Two birds with one stone and we can use this idiom to kill two birds one stone matar dos pájaros de solo tiro like in spanish to kill two birds one stone say with me to kill two birds one stone to kill two birds one stone stone mm -hmm. exactly we're gonna say we don't say stone we say stone stone uh -huh. stone so how do you say matar pájaros de un solo tiro, guys? 
Kill two bears with one stone. Stone. Very good. Birds. Repeat it with me. Birds. 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 Exactly. So, how do you say? Estoy muy confundido. I'm very confused. I'm very baffled. They are both correct. I am very baffled. I'm very confused. Simple as that. All right. I'm very baffled. I'm very confused. Next one. Demoralized. 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 Ending sounds, guys. Ending sounds. Demoralized. Los sonidos finales. Demoralized. 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 Let me see. I think that's. Who's that? Ricky? All right, Ricky, say it with me, please. Demoralized. Ricardo? Demoralized. Okay, very good. So, what we're going to work... Hello, in... hello. I can... I'm here, I'm here, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I, I have reception, bad reception, but demoralized. Okay, uh, you're leaving demoralized in the last sound. We cannot hear the D, all right? In this case, it's going to sound like a T. Demoralized. 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 Okay. Um, solo demoralized. Acuérdate, Ricardo, que al final que tú digas demoralized no termina en Z ni en S. Tiene que terminar en T. Eso es el ending sound que estamos trabajando ahorita. Los ED sounds, ED endings. So demoralized. Try it again, please. Oh, demoralized. Vamos mejorando. So let's go ahead and focus on that one. Now, give me an example. What is the meaning of demoralized, guys? No moral. <laughs> exactly. When you have no more moral, when you have um, no more willingness to do something, desmoralizado, right? Mm -hmm. So, all of these are super, super similar. Give me an example with demoralized. You can use I get, for example, I get demoralized when, and you give me the example. Go ahead, please. I get demoralized when I can't pronounce a word in English. Very, very, very good example, Nidia. Very good example. Um, my recommendation, if that's true, because it happens to all of us, we need to know where the error is. Because we can be repeating like parrots over and over again. But if we don't know where the error, like I was explaining Ricardo, for example, we got to be specific on where the error is. So that's why we need to have very good listening skills. If we identify where is that we are failing, it's going to be easier for us to fix it. All right. Next one, depressed. 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 Very good. What is the meaning of depressed? I don't know. Down loud. Sad. Uh -huh. When you're super sad, when you're down. Yes. Literally. You can say, I am down. I am I'm down. depressed. I am down. Wow. So how do you say, estoy deprimido? I'm down or I am Depressed. 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 Ending sound. Depressed. Depressed. Next one. Discouraged. Discouraged. All right. All right. Here, we're going to do two sounds. Actually, A-G-E is age. 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 But it sounds like a, like a ch, ch as well. Discouraged. 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 It's complicated. Discouraged. Yeah, yes, very complicated. Uh, let's do it like this. 
Give me a second. I'll write it down. This. So. Rushed. Discouraged. Discouraged. Oh, okay. Discouraged. Mm -hmm. And the stress is going to be in the O. Say it. Discouraged. 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 Right. Discouraged. Now, do not say anything. Discouraged. Right now, please just listen to me, okay? Don't say anything. Do not repeat, please. Discouraged. Do not repeat. Again, this call. This person is going to be in the CEO. La fuerza va en la CEO. Discouraged. 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 Say it with me, please. Discouraged. 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 Very good. Nidia, discouraged, please. Discouraged. Very good. Ricardo, discouraged. Ricky Rick. <laughs> All right. Lourdes, discouraged. Discouraged. Very good. Now the T at the end. Discouraged. Discouraged. Good. Do this. <laughs> Come on, do it. No one, no one is looking at you. Discouraged. There you go. Exactly. Discouraged. Very good. Evelyn, discouraged. Discouraged. Good job. Let me see. Julia, discouraged. Discouraged. And the T, discouraged. 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 <laughs> Discouraged. So do it like, say tamales. <laughs> tamales. Tango tamales. <laughs> Come on, tamales. say it with me. Tango tamales. <laughs> <laughs> to take tamales. Tamales. Come on, guys. Sé que suena divertido, pero es que eso es lo que pasa. Cuando nosotros estamos tan acostumbrados a hablar en español, a veces la pronunciación en inglés nos cuesta. La mejor manera es burlarnos de nosotros mismos, perder la pena y ser como unos niños. Los niños van a cometer muchos errores, pero les, les cuento que no tienen pena. Igual aquí, estamos uh -huh. en un ambiente controlado, ¿ok? So, démosle conmigo. Uh -huh. So, Julia. Uh -huh. ¿Quién fue esa que susurró? Who was that one who whispered? You did it great. Me. Me. I have several me's, all right? Discouraged. La T, que no le falte la T, ya voy a regresar. Maribel, discouraged. Discouraged. Very good. Robert, discouraged. Discouraged. And the T. Discouraged. Falta la T, discouraged. Discouraged. Mm -hmm. La T, guys. Discouraged. It's complicated. It's complicated. Yep, it is complicated, guys, but it's not impossible. Why am I stopping so much in this? Is because it's very common. All right, you have no idea how common this is. If we don't practice it, we will never learn. So, everyone. Yeah, like, like when you go to downtown, right? ¿Qué va a querer, amor? All right, come on. Imagine that you that this is not sexual harassment, all right? Esto no es acoso. So imagine that you see a beautiful girl or a handsome guy and you're calling him or her. <laughs> oh, that would be the pronunciation of the CH, okay? An explosion. And then we have the sound of the T. All right? So let's go with the T sound. Say tortilla. This, correct. Tortilla. 
tortilla. Tor. 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 Tortilla. Tortilla. Tú tienes tortilla. tamales today. <laughs> yeah, tamales. <laughs> It sounds super funny, ridiculous, but you gotta do it. Two tienes tamales today? Two tienes tamales today? Two tienes tamales. Two. All right, guys. Tiempo de ponernos serios. Ahora que ya tenemos esa idea, es momento de bajar todo, slow down, y poner atención cómo nosotros lo estamos haciendo. Two. Look at my mouth. Let me get it a little bit closer. So, ven esto subo. Tú tienes tamales today. Vale conmigo. Come on, guys. I need to hear you. Two tienes tamales today. Very good. Ahora sin el tú tienes tamales subo la te. Again. All right, very good, guys. Now, listen up. If you like to do it, do it. If you want to improve, do it. If you want to stay the same way you are right now, don't do it. It's totally up to you. So now, let's go ahead and put it together. Come on, guys, I need to hear you. Really, practice is perfect. Aunque escupan el monitor, come on. All right, so now say it with me. This courage. This is right. 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 Having issues with, and you're gonna send me an audio with this. Next one. Uh, so, what is the meaning of discouraged? Desanimado. Desanimado, right? Like demoralized. You can use it. So, how do you say, yo me desanimo cuando los estudiantes no participan? Good example. Uh -huh. I love it. Uh -huh. I demoralized. Uh, there you go. Don't. Participate. Thank you very much. So you can say, I get. I get discouraged when students I do not get, participate. Okay. I get right? discouraged. Good. Good I example. get discouraged. Next one. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh -huh. teacher I know a, a, a music group that that sound of, uh, they make it pretty well. It's Pet Shop Boys. It's Pet an Boys. English group. I've heard some And I, at, at that time, I think it was the sound of the battery. Of but the drums. Of the yes, drums. The drums, yes. And after a time, I, I, I realized it was the pronunciation of the guy. He, he has a, a strong pronunciation of that. It's very interesting. It's if very interesting. You can hear them. It would be a good guide i think you know what i still have to work after my two classes so i will um what is the name of the gun the, the band again the patch mode you said pet shop boys pet shop boys let me go ahead can you see what i'm doing right now can you see it's like the, the the la tienda de los ma de tienda de mascotas uh-huh los chicos de la tienda de mascotas all right very good so i'm gonna write it down because Work. All right, guys. Good recommendation. Next one. Enraged. 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 Oh, but it's not the same. Enraged. 
That's the same ending sound as before, right? Yes. That's exactly in rage, why. In rage. In rage. In rage. In rage. In rage. Very good. Ya ven, guys, una vez ustedes dominan un fonema, lo van a seguir ocupando y ocupando, especialmente estos, especially ending sounds. So let's make sure we practice them. Enraged is that you are super furious. And Spanish is super common, like when cats, you know, right? So, <laughs> enraged. when do you get enraged? I get enraged when my daughter's home. When my daughter's? Uh, that do, or that, my daughter's do bad things. <laughs> Or when how do you say Oh, when my daughter is mischievous. Mischievous. How do you write that? When I get enraged. When my daughter is mischievous. Mischievous. When my daughter is mischievous. 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 That is, um, for example, when she's not behaving correctly. Okay. All right, very good. So, an example of enraged. I get, in, I get, I get in, enraged uh -huh. when someone uh, put violence to the children. A little bit children, oh my God. Okay, all right. Very violence. Good. Okay. How do you say violaciones to violada, mujer violada? Rape is violation rape. and rape, rape is violada with the at the end. Violado, violada is for both genders. Next Violet. one. Please. No, that would be violación. Violar is rape. And rape, violada, violado. Ah, oh, okay, okay. You can also say abused or molested. Abused, abusado, or molested. Abuse. It's also when, when someone is trying to touch you without your concern or when someone is harassing you. Mm -hmm. When someone is harassing you. All right, next one, guys. Um, so we can try to speed this up. Frustrated. 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 Mm -hmm. So what do you mean by frustrated? Disappointed. Um. Very disappointed. Or oh, I made a mistake with the pronunciation of the skills. I forgot the O. But... Uh -huh. Frustrated is that you're super sad, that you're disappointed. <clears throat> How do you say, estoy frustrado porque no logro pronunciar bien? I, I feel frustrated. I am. I am frustrated. I am frustrated. Because, because I, I can't, can't, I can't speak, I can't, I can't, can't pronounce. Pronounce, I can't pronounce very well. I can't pronounce, <laughs> pronounce very well. correctly. I'm frustrated because I can't pronounce very well. Say it with me, guys. I'm frustrated because I can't pronounce very well. I'm frustrated because I can't pronounce very well. Very well. Humiliated. 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 If you notice at the end, I'm saying humiliated. It is. It is. Humiliated. Humiliated. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of humiliated? I feel that someone offends me. When someone is offending you, right? When they see you over the shoulder. Yes. To see someone over the shoulder. The mirror from the lumber, right? Now, when do you get humiliated? Uh, do you feel humiliated, guys? I 
and I'm talking about give, giving me a, you giving me real examples. When do you feel humiliated? I feel humiliated, for example, when uh, when I say, when someone is saying hi, and I say hi, but it wasn't for me. It was for someone behind me. I, woo, I feel so humiliated, ashamed. No, no examples? All right, let's continue then. Next one, infuriated. Say it with me, please. Infuriated. 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 What is the meaning of that? No, I don't know. To be super upset. Very, very angry. That's infuriated. More than enraged. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh huh. Exactly. Like enraged. Give me an example with that one, please. I feel infuriated. No. Infuriated. I am. I, am, or I, am. I get. You can use I am. Estoy muy enojado. Or I get me enojo when. Okay. I get infuriated when someone don't respect the red light. When someone doesn't doesn't respect the red light. Okay. Respect the red light. Good example. When I was driving to work today, that happened and they almost we almost crashed because someone actually didn't respect the red light. So I totally understand what you're saying. Next one, insulted. 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 Mm -hmm. What does it mean with insulted? Just like uh, being offended by someone else. There you go. Being offended by someone else. Offended. You feel offended. Offended. Uh huh. I'm gonna write it down just in case. Offended. When do you feel offended? Are you ready? For example, mm -hmm. I I feel when offended. someone go ahead. Well, when someone told uh, well when someone tell you or told you that you are fat or that you are just like dumb or things like that, you get offended. You get offended. Correct. You really get offended when someone tells you that. Exactly. Um, very good. Good example. Now, give me more examples, guys, in a sentence. With offended. With, with uh, insulted. Insulted. Uh, insulted. Let me give you one idea. I feel insulted when someone is telling me that something is my fault when it wasn't. Mm -hmm. I really feel insulted. Or when someone tells me I cannot do something when I have shown or proven that I can. Now you, give me an example. Gracias. I feel insulted, insulted when someone doesn't value my job. Good. Good. I love the example. Good job, Miriam. Very good. Let's move to the next one. Irritated. 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 Yep. We got to Okay. Homework. Definitely. ED ending. Irritated. We're going to work with ED ending. Irritated is, what is the meaning of irritated? We have another synonym right here, which is pretty much the same. Irritated. irritated. Like annoyed. annoyed. Now, irritated is a little bit less than enraged and infuriated. Here, just the limit. That's it. You're super mad. Irritated, you're mad. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Give me an example with irritated guys, please. When? When do you get irritated? Feel irritated when in the traffic, uh, the cars do, how do you say, fear carril? <laughs> oh, when the cars make a third lane. Carril is lane. Line. Uh huh. I feel. I feel irritated when. Start do third uh, lane. Make when cars make a third okay. lane. When cars make third lane. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Next one, mystified. 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 Uh huh. What is? Mystified. What do you think is the same? The meaning of mystified? Like. Like bubble. Like bathroom. Too. Right. Now, example, please. Oh. Anybody? One, two, three, four. No one? All right, so let's continue. Saddened. 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 So, what is the meaning of saddened, guys? Um, I didn't have clear the meaning of mystified. Confused, baffled. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Saddened. Is like triste, or? Yeah, like very sad, saddened. Mm. Me pongo triste. I get saddened when uh, my girlfriend is not home. Oh, oh. jealous. Oh. <laughs> so you are jealous. <laughs> ah, I trust it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, give me an example with saddened. I get saddened when I see people cutting the trees. Cutting trees, correct. Cutting trees. Cutting trees. Cutting. Cutting. Say it with me. Cutting. 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 And that's something cutting. weird, right? We all want to park in the shade of a tree, but we don't want to plant trees, right? Mm. Now, do you know what is the difference between shade? It doesn't come to the topic, but just for you to know. Do you know what is the difference between shade and shadow? Shade and shadow. Mm -hmm. shade and shadow. No. Shade. Both are sombra. <laughs> they are both sombra, correct. Now, let me see if I can find some image real quick for you. Shade. Oh, shade, no. Shade versus shadow. <clears throat> Perhaps I can find a, an image so we can get it home super quick. Now we're in Spanish to make images right now. So this is the shadow. Mm -hmm. What is reflected? Okay, and all mm -hmm. of these <clears throat> All of the surface that is blocking the sunlight is the shade. Ah, uh, shade. You got it. And in in, in a Spanish shade, how? Same thing. How we call it in Spanish shade. Same thing. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. They are both sombra. But the thing is, again, mm -hmm. the shadow is just this. What you can see on the on the ground. Mm -hmm. And the shade is all of the surface that is blocking the sun. The sun, for example, let me see. Right now, my hand supposedly is blocking the light. Right, I will see the mm -hmm. shape of my hand on the wall. That will be the, sh the shadow. But all of that is not receiving the light is the shade. Mm -hmm. So it's just you know. 
cultural. If, if you are actually drawn to this, go ahead and Google it so you can get more information. Also, I use the word drown to. Do you know what is the meaning of drown to? No. Drown to is the same as attracted to. Atraído a, but not in a sexual way, but a, a, a way of interest. All right, very good. Um, next one, stunned. Say with me. Stunned. 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 Stand. 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 What is the meaning of stand? Like surprised. Correct, media. Like super surprised. Another way is shocked. Shocked. Mm -hmm. Another way to say it is shocked. All right. So <clears throat> say it with me, guys. Annoyed. 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 Baffled. Baffled. Confused. 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 Demoralized. Confused. Demoralized. Demoralized. Depressed. 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 Discouraged. 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 Enraged. 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 Frustrated. 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 Humiliated. 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 Infuriated. Infuriated. Insulted. 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 Irritated. Irritated. Mystified. Mystified. Saddened. Saddened. Stunned. 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 All right, guys, do me a favor, take a screenshot and please post it on the WhatsApp group if it's not done already because I really haven't checked. Let me see if it's in the WhatsApp group. Eight to nine. No, it's not. Go ahead and post it on the WhatsApp group, please. Mm And let me know when it's done. You got it? Okay, if not, I'll do it. All righty, guys. So I'm going to be opening the, the, um, the break rooms. And what I wanted to do is for you to please talk about what kind of situations make you feel this way and explain why and when, okay? What are you gonna do? Okay. What are you gonna do? Can you please repeat it? We will make some examples with this. Yes, explain, I'm gonna do it in the chat here. Explain the situations that make you feel this way. And with this way, I mean any of the vocabulary that we have. So I'm gonna open the break rooms for approximately eight minutes so we can go ahead and practice our speaking skills and the new vocabulary later on the right. Please go ahead and accept the invite. Invite sent. All right, Lord is there, media is there. Okay, the image is done. All right, thank you. Okay. All right, Eduardo. There we go. Let me go ahead and check the room. I can't do that. With all the vocabulary words. <clears throat> ah, okay. I got it. Okay, I... Well, we can I start. Just uh, one question, teacher, is... Go ahead. 
make a sentence or asking about um, about the voc the vocabulary words and then <clears throat> what the conversation flow. It's about sharing. It's about having conversation, okay. not not sentence. So hey guys, okay, you know okay. what? Um, I want to mention that I really get frustrated when I cannot achieve what I want. You know, if I'm working hard and I fail, I really feel frustrated because it changes my plan. Mm. But I try to improve and do my best in order for me to succeed. That's an example okay. of something. You can, do. And you can ask questions. All right, go mm. ahead, guys. Well, I can start. Uh, Go ahead. In my case, I feel in the present right now with uh, with my job because we we are moving to Sonsonate. Oh. Um, that change uh, everything is, is is a new. It's in the beginning because uh, all all the group all the all the business group is right there just just the just the business that i'm working in is is here in santa tecla and i will change my my well my way of living because <laughs> from here is short distance to go like uh, near of uh, Acajutla. That depressed me. Yeah. <laughs> that depressed me. And that irritated a little bit because uh, it's a huge change. It's huge. It's a very huge change. Yeah. It sounds difficult. Yeah, yes. it's very difficult. Um, well, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, right now I feel. In this case, uh, Lourdes, I'm sorry to interrupt. What, before we start, we can say something like, hey, but you know what, Eduardo? If you are willing to do it, it's because it's worth it. You know, I know yes. that it's a big change, but if you decided to do it, is because you know that is something good for you. So um, don't let this um, take you down. Keep doing your best and give it a try. You might as well like it. All right. Always try to let's try to close the interaction before someone else starts. All right. Okay. So after this, okay. Lourdes, you can start. We say something to Lourdes and then Robert. Okay. Uh, right now, I got frustrated because to buy a house is very, very difficult. Yeah. If oh, you yeah. if you want to live in a good place, you don't have enough money to 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 live in a good place. You know, uh, or you can or you can buy only very small houses. And and I, I don't know, I feel frustrated <laughs> mm. with, with, the, with the situation in, in El Salvador. Maybe I think in whole war it's very difficult to, to, to get a, a house, but right now it's frustrated to talk with the bank. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's make a comment. I mean, give yeah, your opinion. I know, I know. It's, 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 very, ha it's very hard uh, for uh, a good place in a good neighborhood. But um, well, right now, to, uh, the only advice that I gave you is... That I can give uh, you? That I gave you is, uh, well, mm, Save and saving your bank account. Mm -hmm. uh, the market, or oh, in one, uh, if I learned something about finance, uh, the market always is changing, and uh, maybe yeah. 
in okay. some in some year in some moment will change yeah. for good so if you see a a good house please tell me <laughs> <laughs> i let you know <laughs> i let you know all right fantastic that's exactly what i wanted all right guys it's robert's turn two minutes and we wrap it up okay we finish it okay i'm gonna check the other people go robert okay Something, I mentiroso, liar, 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 everybody. Tell you a lie? Liar. Uh huh. Tell me lies. Uh huh. Tell me lies on, oh, uh, hurt my, hurt my sens sensitives, sensitive. What? <laughs> Sentimientos, sensitive. Feelings. <laughs> uh -huh. feelings. Feelings, my feelings. Uh huh, my feelings. <laughs> uh huh, yes. Oh my God, because I think I am a good person. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, yeah. yes. And yes, I have yes. very, very love to. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And did the three of you participate already? I don't know. Julia hasn't talked. Where to is? Yes. Julia, I, I haven't. I don't listen very well. Okay, yes, it, it, it's hard to listen sometimes. Yeah, it, it's yes. kind of a bad connection. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go back to the main session, all right? Okay. okay. See you. Okay. All right, so we're just missing three people. Now, girls, uh, I was not able to see much of what you did. I was helping the other group, but I consider that you're pretty strong in your areas. And if you keep on practicing, then you will achieve whatever is it that you, that you want to achieve with English. Um, a couple of recommendations before we break it up. At this level, guys, it's not much about grammar, but it's, more, it's a lot about fluency. It's a lot of speaking vocabulary. You have no idea how vocabulary is important. So your participation, I'm going to send an audio to the WhatsApp group, but your participation is super necessary. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. I am here to help you. So if you make a mistake, that's when you learn. But if you keep quiet, I will not have the chance to help you in particular. So participation should be something that you want to do. Don't be afraid of giving that step. And I promise you that if you try to do your best, you will improve. If you keep, if you're always in your comfort zone, nothing good happens in your comfort zone. Just resting. So guys, um, try to check the presentation or, or the website before the class. Quickly, you know, in 10, 15 minutes, check the presentation before the class so you can have an idea of what's going to happen. Watch the video. I always have to play it, but watch the video so we can get this faster. Imagine we, we would have finished this in 10, 10 minutes. We would have a long time to practice our speaking skills. I could have been jumping from one group to the other. So next week, I'm pretty sure that we can do it better than this. We can work harder. Okay? Okay. All right, my friends. So thank you very much for logging in on this Thursday night. I appreciate you all. And uh, thank you for being a part of this class in Inglés Corporativo. Alejandro Narbona, at your service. I'm not a military. I just do this because, you know, <laughs> I like to do it. So I'll see you Monday, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Study, work hard, do your best. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Good day. Bye-bye. Happy weekend. See you. Thank you. Very Happy much. weekend.